Our throwback for today. Today's throwback. Akitola Taku. The origin of the successor chief executive officer of the Federating Unit defying his predecessor's control. Chief Obafemi Awolowo, after governing the defunct Western region, which was literally all of today's southwestern states and Edo Kum Delta states, from the 7th January 1952, first as leader of government business and later as premier from 1st of October 1954, he voluntarily decided to quit the office even when his party, Action Group, had gained much popularity due to his phenomenal administrative performance to go and resume as the leader of opposition at the National Assembly. From Independence Day on the 1st of October 1960, his deputy party leader, who was the official leader of opposition in the pre-independence National Assembly, Chief Ladoke Akintola, was with his anointment, that is the anointment of Chief Obafemi Awolowo and the agreement of the leadership of the action, action group, the party, which by then was beholden to Chief Obafemi Awolowo, inaugurated him as successor as premier of the regional government on the 1st of October 1960. Chief Awolo was still the official leader of the party, but he was functioning from Lagos. While Chief Akintola was the chief executive officer of the government and deputy leader of the action group. Long story short, disputes burdening on Akintola's who was raised in the north and who envied the, the many federal appointments that the bestowals of NCNC got at the expense of Yorubas because of NCNC's coalition arrangement with the MPC Akintola's predisposition that AG should usurp NCNC as coalition partner to MPC, relative to Chief Obafi Miawolowo's conviction that the best natural alliance for the sustainable progress of Nigeria was a NCNC and AG federation, uh, federal coalition. This ideological dispute and other unsettled imponderables led to the final fracas at the February 1962 Just Convention of the AG where Akintola, the party secretary, Chiva Yorosiji, and some ministers of the regional cabinet walked out of the party convention. At the resumption of the Western Regional House of Assembly, the original parliament in the parliamentary system of government, a popular vote of the members was ongoing when supporters of the premier, knowing that that he would lose the parliamentary majority, which would translate to an automatic defenestration or sacking of the premier ceased the maze and orchestrated the chaos which brought about the wide wide west terminology it was the cover page of a national newspaper describing how akintola refused to eat the majority's vote against his premiership that wrote the vernacular headline akintola taku meaning akintola refuses to go in conclusion I often tell people who care to listen that President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, aside from the benevolence of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, should be thanking BRF who, either out of good or bringing or chicken heartedness, could have decapitated his political persona's head in 2011. From Awolowo to Akintola, indeed Zeke to Okpara, Umwabodo to Unamani. Sars to Chetima, Akume to Suzuam, Oshamale to Abaseki, to the extant Furore in rivers. It is like shooting at the moon with a den gun for any conceitedly delusional gubernatorial character to believe that he can replicate the 24 year plus grace of God on Pibat in Lagos. And that's it on the show tonight. I am Bola Oba. Have a good night.